Guys, I'm going to be doing this Dodge Ram today. Pan across. Now back up to the fence. Get an overall shot of it. Clutch that thing behind you. All right, now come on back in here. This truck was pretty bad off. It, it seemed like at first it had some surface rust on it. Then whenever I got down to it, it actually um, had a lot of spots that the paint was gone all the way down to the metal and the rust that was on it actually dug pits into the metal. So I've got it sanded down. Some of the places I've had to actually prime it just to be able to, to level out that metal. And um, But I want to give you a before shot of what this truck looks like before we plasti dip this thing. So let's uh, let's give a good walk around. Now there's two things in particular I want to show you. The hell was that? Where's the friends? Oh. Now there's two things in particular I, I, I want to show you about this truck. One, one, could not get the toolbox out. The bolts have actually rusted underneath and the nuts have fell off. So the only thing holding this toolbox in is rust. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. And the other is since this toolbox is in here, what I've done is I've actually gone all the way across and I've taped up the window as well as I've taped up the toolbox to where whenever I spray I can actually get the paint that's here and I won't have to worry about getting any overspray off this window because that's going to be a pain. So I'm going to get started on this. First thing I'm going to do is the roof. I'm going to have to stand on the toolbox to get it. Then I'm going to get the hood and uh, I'm just going to have to get a step ladder for this thing. After that, once I'm done with those, I'm gonna pull this thing back in and then I'm gonna get the sides and we're gonna go ahead and do this thing. So, this is a beast. This, so what makes this special this about this gun? It's just the newest Wagner. It's actually a lot different. The, uh, the air intakes that feeds air into the hopper that pressurizes the whole thing is on the outside now. Mm. And comes in through there. Makes a big difference. This thing's gonna be a lot nicer then. I think so. How much you pay for this one? Oh god. Jesus Christ. It's over for me. It was nice knowing y'all. I'm a dead man. Usually I don't show, Kenny, pay attention. Usually I don't show this part in the videos, but I forgot to do it. So let me just go ahead and get that done now. All right, radiator's coming. Great some positive going on. Same as the other one.
uses a lot more out of the bottom of the hopper here than the last one did. That's good though. Mm -hmm. Essentially, I never spray outdoors, but I didn't have enough room in there to get the uh, get the roof. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this thing back inside now that the roof is done. I wonder what mixing red with a one, one or two cans of black would do. That was fucking awesome. What the hell was that? It's a switch that makes it round. Oh. Yeah.
Oh, look at that. That's what happens when you get it right. It's kind of like being a serial killer. You perfect your art each time you do it. You really do. That's the sad part. Every time he's done it, he's always come up with some new trick to this. That is a little preemptive strike to keep the Plasti Dip from peeling over. All right, so that took the better part of a day. It took about five gallons of, of thinned Plasti Dip and that was, uh, that was a hell of a project. That took a lot of time. So, but here it is. So in essence, that's a uh, Dodge Ram Plasti Dip, guys. Check out the website, IamThePuzzleMan.com, or check out the Facebook, uh, Facebook.com slash IamThePuzzleMan. So we'll see you next project. Take it easy.